by Begrun for the treatment of patients with dry overactive bladder, a subgroup analysis from the EMPOWER trial. I'm David Staskin. I'm proud to present on behalf of the authors, the investigators and their sites, and the patients who participated in the study. Disclosures, these are also published. OAB is characterized by urgency and frequency, with or without UUI, and is known respectively as OAB wet and OAB dry. Approximately 66% of patients have OAB dry. By background, it's a selective beta-3 agonist approved for the treatment of adults with overactive bladder. In the phase three EMPOWER trial, Vibegron was associated with significant improvements in mean daily number of urgency episodes and micturitions versus placebo. These post hoc analyses of the phase three EMPOWER trial assessed efficacy outcomes in patients with OAB wet and OAB dry. The study design this was taken from the 12 week uh, trial adults with OAB wet, approximately 75% of the group, or OAB dry, 25% of the group were included. Patients completed a seven day diary in the week before at baseline and at weeks two, four, eight, and 12. Outcomes and analyses were uh, based on change from baseline at week 12 in mean daily number of urgency episodes and micturitions in patients with OAB dry and wet and the efficacy analyses compared by background with placebo. All the other efficacy outcomes, including comparisons between tolteridine and placebo, were considered supportive. Patient demographics and baseline clinical characteristics are shown on this slide. The dry population and overall population are the two subgroups. The characteristics of mean age, gender, male and female, mean urinary Urgent, mean urgency episodes per day and mean micturitions per day are shown. As you can see, the distribution is appropriate and uh, even in uh, all comparable groups. The change from baseline and mean number of urgency episodes is demonstrated on this slide. The OAB dry population is on the left and the OAB wet population is on the right. Fibegron separated and was statistically uh, significantly better than placebo at all time points during the study for two, four, eight, and 12 weeks in both the dry and the wet populations. Change from baseline and mean daily number of micturitions, the OAB dry population on the left, the OAB wet population on the right, and again, Fibegron at 12 weeks was statistically better than placebo. In the wet population, this was true at two, four, eight, and 12 weeks, and in the dry population at four, eight, and 12 weeks. And again, OAB dry population and OAB wet population, both statistically significant. So in conclusion, in this subgroup analysis of the phase three EMPOWER trial, once daily Vibegron 75 milligrams was associated with significant reductions versus placebo in mean daily urgency episodes and in mean number of micturitions in patients with both OAB wet and dry. These results suggest that Vibegron is similarly effective for these endpoints in patients with or without urinary incontinence. Thank you. <laughs>